time for one more video. And what I want to talk about in this video is the law of amplified creation. And this is something that I think has been taught so incredibly wrong to the general public, to, to people, uh, you know, for thousands of years almost. And we've been taught this lack mentality, this idea that it is more godly to want less and to think small and to be small. And the thing is, is that the way the quantum field works, the way that creation works, you actually have the ability to experience anything and everything that you want, but you have to want it. You have to actually put in actionable effort into that wanting. And again, you have to know it's for you. You know, what, like the why, why do you want to experience this? Why do you, you know, want to have a horse ranch? Why do you want to get on a boat and sail around the world? Why do you want to own a business? What do you want to create to make the world a better place? And see, I think a lot of times why people cannot create the life of their dreams is that they actually fundamentally don't know their direction. They have a compass that's spinning around like this. They, they don't know what they actually want. So they're looking outside of themselves all of the time, like continually to try to figure out what they want. They're looking at other people's lives and other people's dreams and the television and celebrities and all of these different things. And the thing about that is none of that has anything to do with your own life path. And so when you really start getting in touch with yourself and in touch with your own goals and dreams and aspirations, you start to get like super excited about life. And this is the thing you have to be like crazy in love with the process of living. You have to love it. And when you are in this energy of just reverence and this awe inspiring, vivacious magnetism that you are feeding the universe, the universe starts drawing things to you because it gets excited for you. And pretty much it's kind of like the genie and the lamp. You just start picking things off the proverbial shelf of existence. You're like, you know what? I really think that I want some to, you know, run some retreats and I want to help the world or I want to create a medical center or a healing center or whatever it is, whatever it is in your mind, you kind of start to picture it. And here's, here's a cool thing about this. So last year I got together with my girlfriends and we did dream boards. We're getting get, uh, together again this week. And I know Oprah Winfrey is big on dream boards. Uh, and you know, it's not something that I'm sitting there scrapbooking all day long. Don't get me wrong, but you're really putting intention for a couple hours into what you want to see manifest in your next year. And I can tell you almost everything that I put on that dream board has happened. It's crazy. It's nuts. And the thing about it is I knew it would happen. So there is this thing in terms of manifestation of like zero point energy, zero doubt. You just, you have no doubt. You have absolute faith and it increases. So there's this expansion and augmentation of faith when it's affirmed for you. So when you put your trust in the creator, in God, in the magnetic power of your own heart and spirit. And I want to couple this with something really amazing too, because anything and everything I've ever wanted to manifest, I have this little secret thing and it's not about wanting anything for myself. Actually, when I look at what I want to create, I look at how it's going to actually help other people and how it's actually going to make earth a better place. And I always create from this, the central point of how can I make things better for others? And when I'm infusing that, that energy into my dreams, it's like they can't help but happen because again, it's not, it's not just a selfish desire. It's this thing that I'm creating for the good of, you know, many people. And my dreams are tied into helping so many other people that again, as well, it's like this multiplication of that prayer energy. And you know, you start talking to other people about those goals and dreams, and then they, they start actually 
investing in your dreams as well because your dream is their dream. And it's really cool how this works because then you start talking to all these people and these people that essentially the quantum field or God or spirit or whatever you want to call it starts magnetizing towards you, you realize that their request, so their prayer to the universe kind of involved you as well. And it's like all of these beautiful elements, all of these notes come together to form a symphony of manifestation of creation. So again, like when you're putting in your order to the universe, make sure that it's magical, like dream big. That's always been my like hashtag for our schools is dream big. The bigger your dream, yeah, the more you're gonna have to stretch yourself, the more you're gonna have to push yourself and the more crazy, you know, you are gonna have to become about that passion or that dream, but it's gonna be worth it. And that that's really what makes life worth living. So I'm gonna wrap this video up and hopefully again, you guys are having a great weekend and we'll see you in the next video.